Hey guys, I'm going to talk about bankruptcy and what we can learn from MetaZoo. So we are going to find out a lot about what MetaZoo spent money on, what it didn't spend money on, and most importantly, who did it not pay. Now, not every creditor will think it's worth the money. Um, how you get on this list to get paid is normally maybe if I were a class action uh, lawyer, lawyers are very expensive. If you, ha if I had to take a guess, forty percent of all money in assets will go to lawyers, trustees, and le the legal system will eat a large chunk of whatever is left of MetaZoo. Now, interestingly enough, Alpha Investment has not made these videos as, as of the time of this recording, which is Friday. He has not made a single video about MetaZoo, even though a lot of interesting things are happening. Uh, to be quite frank, this would be a great discussion of how to run a business, how to invest in a business, and what happens. I think there are a lot of investors. We are going to find out exactly who. There, there's been this kind of murky, who owns MetaZoo? Is it Mike Waddell? Is it uh, Pokemon King Gary? Is it Steve Aoki? Who owns this? We still don't have any idea. It, I imagine that it's probably two scenarios. It's either a lot of people own a lot of pieces or Mike Waddell owns everything. So there's so many really those two scenarios in play, but it'd be interesting to see if a lot of people own pieces, who those people are. And if Alpha Investment is one of them, it would be impossible to hide from the legal documentation. So I'm not assuming Alpha Investment owns it, but we will find out soon enough. Now, creditors, uh, well, Chapter 7 is very easy to explain. I owe these people money. I do not want to pay them money. The court says, we're good. But in doing so, I had to liquidate all my assets and the trustee, right? This is the same with FTX. This is the same with anyone who's filing bankruptcy personally or as a business. Uh, the trustee is, is chosen by the creditors. So when you play this game with creditors and you are saying, I don't want to pay you back, well, the creditors will say, I want to see every asset you own. I want to see every single line item that you bought. I want to see every single purchase that you made. And don't hide anything because now we have access to your books, right? So pretty interesting stuff. Uh, definitely a scenario where it is playing itself out um, publicly and that's the beauty of bankruptcy all these filings all these documents all these things right they're going to be public and we're going to see exactly what MetaZoo has been doing all this time and if it was a scandal you will know um, they're going to have access to text messages emails they'll have access to it all because when you mess with somebody's money and you say, I'm not going to pay you. Well, I want to know if you hid the money somewhere. Right? I, I'm wondering, hey, do you have money? And what you did was you put it on a Caribbean account and you're just living off that. Or do you really not have money? That's the main goal of bankruptcy is to make the creditors whole. It is not to make the owners whole. At this point in time, the owners are secondary to the creditors. So whatever the creditors want to do with MetaZoo is what they want to choose to do. If Sanrio wants to pay out the creditors and buy MetaZoo, that's what Sanrio can do. Same with Marvel. Same thing. I doubt anyone wants to own this property, but I'll throw an offer. So if I go to the trustee and I say, hey, I want to buy, you know, after the bankruptcy, I want to buy on top of whatever people are going to get from the assets, I want to buy everything for $50,000. Because what they were supposed to do and what they have to prove is they have to prove they went to look for an investor. We don't know. They did their due diligence. So if I, as an investor, come along and say, hey, they didn't contact me. I didn't even know they weren't for sale. And I give a reasonable offer that the creditors and the, via trust, the power from the trustee, given the creditors, can accept, then I own MetaZoo. So if you ever wanted to own MetaZoo, right now it is the best time to own it. It is the best time to go ahead and make a bid. I would call the trustee and say, this is my offer. You know, this is how much I can pay each creditor. This is the outline of what my plan is. Uh, I would even imagine that um, they would be okay with you taking a loan and you just paying off loan. Because at this point in time, they just want as much money as they can get. They understand this 
business is run very poorly. We're going to find out what their revenue was, what their profit lines were, how much they were selling stuff to, what you know, how much alpha investments they paid him or he paid him, them, I, who knows. But you will find out everything because their books are open to the public. Uh, we had another very interesting case. If you remember in the sports card realm, Mark's cards, he stole money. And yeah, Mark's cards, right? Uh, he basically stole $1.1 million of money and uh, uh, lose huge court ruling, right? Uh, 50,000 cards, uh, Mark's cards, a million dollar scam. Let's take a look at that. Mike seems like a con artist, had a couple of friends lose a lot of money over this crap. Did they submit through Mark's cards directly or through a different store? I will, just be ready. What a tone deaf statement, elaborate. Imagine having thousands of dollars in that guy's hands and when he had a platform to explain his side, he said just be ready. Oh yeah, this is Mark's cards actually explaining about uh, their scam. So. They, they are not the only ones to face bankruptcy. Um, they are many, many sports card stores bankrupt today, uh, including Mark's Cards. Here's the official statement from PSA, right? They didn't pay PSA uh, for grading fees that were given to them. Uh, Mojo Sports promotes now bankrupt Mark's Cards. Uh, very interesting stuff. In bankruptcy, you learn a lot. You learn a lot about the business that you loved um, and in fact you know maybe I do Mark's cards a little bit because I, I, I think I haven't done it in a while I don't actually know what the end result was um, I can follow the case of course right uh, Mark's cards Inc bankruptcy California so they're in California um, docket last updated oh so they actually resolved in 2022 it's been that long I guess Chapter 7, same Chapter 7 bankruptcy. And voluntary petition for non-individuals. Meeting of creditors. Meeting held free 21-2022. On the phone. Let's take a look at that court document. It's very interesting what happened to Mark's cards. I'm not kidding. Um, and this is not the only time it will happen. Obviously, it's happened quite a bit. Um, but Mark's cards is the one that I am most interested in because that's something I knew. So docket. So they filed, the the creditors met, and they had a telephone meeting, and they decided uh, the to give it to a trustee. Um, the cl case is closed and is no longer being updated. Um, so somehow it settled out. Uh, the number of creditors are a lot, uh, 852 plus creditors for that case just fascinating stuff oh hmm yeah i guess we can go over mark's card from a legal perspective kind of as an example of what would happen to so it's all public it's all here and it's kind of interesting they resolved it really quickly actually anyway my guys